here's what we do chat we do the introductory or wait yes introductory to shadowlands is that a real word introductory the introduction to shadowlands if you've played classic and you have no fucking clue what's going on well this is for you how do I, how do i start there's so many differences do i start with talent trees well there are no talent trees i don't know if you're familiar those are the talents i think most people know that even if you're a classic fan those are also talents that are only available in pvp because logic don't worry about it the specs are still the same ish assassination outlaw which is combat and subtlety which is subtlety backstab is no longer uh, holy shit that's a lot of damage also you have shadowlands people know about shadowlands right people have played wrath of the Ish king it's kind of the same kind of the same but it also recharges when you hit a finishing move also you have this shit that is completely fucking useless i mean it's not useless it's good i mean it's useless as design you press a button and increase your damage well, i guess it gives you a little bit of energy too too much to take in no 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 trust me this is easy it's nothing shadow strike is ambush think of it as ambush if you're in stealth you get teleported to your target when you press it easy enough where the target dummies in this are they under in the underbelly i don't even know i'm gonna need some target dummies it's gonna make this easier this is just an aoe i should just go to or maria it's probably easier that way Oh, I promise you it's easier. It's easy. It just seems hard because a lot of animations have changed. So people think that everything is very different from classic. It's actually not that different. It just looks different. It looks scary. But once you understand what's going on, it's just classic that looks fancier and sounds like shit. It's the same thing. This is ambush. That teleports you out of stealth. But it doesn't teleport you out of stealth. You know, you still need to be melee. That swoosh sound? Yeah, that's fucking ambush. Also, it doesn't do as much damage as it does in classic. I mean, it might actually do literally the same damage even though people have a lot more health. Okay, that's not fair. It does more. No, it, it does about the same. But your eviscerate does way more, so eviscerate was way stronger. Also, eviscerate is on two parts, because it will do extra damage. Oh my god, I didn't mention find weakness, bruh. We have find weakness now, which is like armor pen. It's cool. I mean, we've had it for a long time, but it's, it's nicer now. Where is it? Boom, 30% armor pen. I think it's less in PvP. It might be halved in PvP. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to confirm this. We have an extra stat that is mastery that does different things for every single spec. For mastery for sub rogue, which I'm playing right now, I'm just gonna focus on sub because that's the spec I enjoy the most and I'm gonna play the most. So if someday I decide to play the other specs, I'll explain them. Mastery increases your damage. Think about it. Like, the more mastery you get, the more damage you do. Kind of. It, it still depends on your playstyle because, you know... Oh, I'm gonna have to go through all the talents because they're so much different. Oh, no. Oh, it, uh, you're gonna have to... 
you're gonna need a pen and paper here it's simple really it is so if you're focusing on mastery you want to hit finishing moves so you want to generate a lot of combo points and dump a lot of combo points so eviscerates is what you want you know mar for death you want possibly enveloping shadows for more shadow dances i'm gonna have to go through all the talents First tier, level 15 talents. Weapon Master, Premeditation, Gloomblade. Uh, ignore Gloomblade, it's whatever. Premeditation, it's for lazy people. Weapon Master, RNG, this is what you want. It's World of RNG Craft. Anything that has RNG in it is what you want. Night Stalker, you move faster, you do a little bit more damage. Subterfuge, this is what you want. Because if you get hit in stealth, you can still do your opener, which is, you know, a, a lot of RNG in the game. You get hit sometimes, you don't want to get fucked. There you go. Subterfuge is for you. Also, you can do uh, two ambush and two cheap shots. Easy. Shadow focus. I'm not even going to go through this. This is completely useless. Now this, in level 30 talents, surprisingly, everything's viable. I play deeper stratagem because look at that kidney shot. Look at it. Look, it, it's still going. Look at it. It's seven seconds. Mar for death, that's what most people play, which instantly gives you combo points, which is pretty good because you can either size and dice from stealth, because, you know, stealth or size and dice doesn't break stealth. Oh, I have to go through that too, because there's so many changes. Oh, classic, classic people, you were, oh yeah, you actually need a pen and paper. <laughs> Anyways, Vigor is also good. Probably not that good though, because I can't spend my energy anyway. Eh. You can try, but I think those two are the most popular ones. I use Deeper Stratagem because if I don't have six combo points, I actually cap so fast. Like, I'm already at five. You don't want to over camp because every combo point you don't spend is lost damage. Oh, I have to go through passive. Okay, you also generate... No, 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 no. I'll go through this later. This is your defensive. Cheat death. It's a six minute cooldown, so... <laughs> also, it's not that good. You can die through cheat death because it's not very reliable. Elusiveness is probably what you want, which makes your feint actually damage reduction. It's like a shitty shield wall. And it's only 15 second cooldown, but it's 35 energy, so... And this would be good if it wasn't nerfed in PvP. In PvP it heals only 1% of my health per second. In PvE it's actually OP. Because, like, in PvE every, sh every Shadow Dance heals 27% of your health. In PvP every Shadow Dance heals 9% of your health. Is it 9 seconds? Yeah. So, eh. this is also kind of debatable. A lot of people play Prey on the weak, but it's also nerfed in PvP. It only increases your damage by 5%. And shot in the dark, making your uh, cheap shot free, it's already cost 40 energy and you have 100 energy with deeper stratagem. This is basically this, but actually useful. Now this is a debatable one. This 30%, a lot of people don't realize, Shadow Dance already increases your damage by 15%. I don't know if you can see. Shadow Dance already increases your damage by 15%. So this says Shadow Dance now increases damage by 30%. So it doesn't increase your damage by 
it now increases it by 30. So it means it only increases it by 15%. It gets from 15 to 30. It's not as good as you think it is when you first read the tooltip. Enveloping shadows is probably more control and just overall better because not only do you get an extra shadow dance, you get your shadow dance faster because you get an additional 0.5 seconds off the cooldown per combo point spent. So yeah. And the last tier is pretty obvious that you want Master of Shadows, especially if, you, if you're deeper strategy or Marth for Death. Secret Technique does pretty decent damage actually, it's not bad, but it's not a PvP talent. Uh, Shuriken Tornado is also not bad, but it's not a PvP talent, it's for AOEing stuff down. And now we get to the fun part. The PvP specific talents that are only effective in PvP or usable in PvP. Smoke Bomb is Smoke Bomb. I think people know what it is. If you don't know what it is and you've literally only played classic Wrath of the Rich King TVC, it's basically a portable line of sight. So this circle is a line of sight. Anyone outside of it can't cast in and anyone in it can't cast out unless it's a friendly. A friendly player can cast outside of it, an enemy player cannot cast inside or outside. It's a friendly line of sight. Cold Blood is not what Cold Blood in Classic is. It's percent damage of people's health. Shadowy Duo, which most people seem to be confused about, this is... Pretty much a double stealth. I stealth myself and an enemy player. I can get healed, he cannot. Kind of. So, even though we're both stealthed, we're still in the same place. So, AoE will affect us. It's not creating a 1v2, it's a 1v1. It, affect, it, it's, it creates a 1v1. And I can also use all my stealth abilities. It's a 1v1. Now it is 50 energy and it only lasts for 6 seconds. And any AoE will hit him. So if you do an AoE heal, he will get healed. If someone does AoE damage, he will get damaged. But I will get damaged too. People just can't target us. We're like shadows, untargetable. I'm pretty sure friendly heals can target me though. Because I, I have been shielded in Shadow with Duel, so I think friendly targets can target me. It's usually just for CC or to finish someone off. Yeah, teammates can see me. Now that I've gone through the talents, I'll go through the spell changes that are not... I think they're not as bad. I'll just go through the spells that have been removed. We don't have Gouge anymore, no Gouge, it's an Outlaw talent, aka Combat. We don't have Garot, it's, a, it's an Assassination talent now. What else do we not have that we have in Classic? Nope, no Gouge. I think everything else we do have. Like, Cold Blood is changed, but why is gouging combat? I don't know, man. It's not even combat, it's outlaw, it's a pirate. Backstab is kind of the same, but not really. It's like a filler move. Think of it as Hamo, you spam it to get your combo points. As far as I know, no rogue spec has a combo point generation tool that actually does any real damage, except Shadow Strike. Shadow Strike is an ambush, but because you can use it out of stealth, kind of, with Shadow Dance, you can cheat. It does actually do a lot of damage. It will add up. Oh yeah, there's no prep anymore. Prep is gone, Hemo is gone. Backstab is Hemo and Backstab in one. And it doesn't do that much damage. 
537 on people that have 20k health. You're not killing anyone with backstabs. It's not bad damage, but where is it? Let's see the damage meters in Eye of the Storm. Shadow Strike Eviscerate melee. That's the second point Eviscerate. It's two part, you know. Two part Eviscerate. So it's actually my second damage. So Shadow Strike and Eviscerate is all you're gonna do. Backstab generates common point. My biggest backstab is 1100. Eh. Uh, don't look at this. This is gonna be gone soon. This is from the neck. I don't know if I, I should even go through, but let's say I'm going through it. It's from BFA, it's not gonna be in Shadowlands. You get like spells and just passives. Don't worry about it. Same with the gear, you have like a bunch of passives that are going away with Shadowlands. Don't worry about it. You don't need to know this. Uh, Shadow Strike, that's just an ambush that teleports you if you're in stealth, but not if you're in Shadow Dance or Subterfuge active. Shadow we do we went through this, Cobalt we went through this, Rupture is exactly the same as it was in Classic, just lasts for way fucking longer like everything else. Trick and Storm, that's just Fan of Knives. If you've played Wrath of the Lich King, you know Fan of Knives, it's just AoE. It does no damage. Oh, it also adds a combo point, so it's cool. And also adds multiple combo points if you hit multiple targets. And adds a combo point. It's your only combo point generating moves against people that are immune to damage. So if you're a fan of knife, if you're using fan of knives against the mage in an ice block, you will get a combo point. If you backstab in it, you will not get a combo point. So that's cool. That's why sometimes I'll spam Shrek and Storm against people with Ice Block or uh, or Bubble. Shallow Blades? Now that's cool. That's from Mr. Pandaria, I think. It's a cooldown that turns your damage into shallow damage. And everything generates one additional combo point. It is... Oh shit button. This is the oh shit button of Sub Rogue. Are you writing this down? It also applies poisons. Okay, this is the thing about poisons. You don't really care about it much. There are so many souls in the game and so easy to get a soul. Don't even think about it. Yeah, crippling is only 50%, not 70. Most souls are 50%. And wound poison is actually 12%. It stacks three times and it's 12% healing reduction. It's more out of PvP. Like out of PvP is 24. In PvP it's 12. It's halved. And don't worry about it. Yes, it applies poisons, but... Shuriken Toss, from what I've noticed, Shuriken Toss only applies wound poison. I've never seen it apply crippling. I don't know if it doesn't. I just haven't seen it. Maybe we can proc it now. Nope. 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 I don't know if it's a bug or something. Can find a nice... Yeah, it can proc a crippling. Actually, that's a... That's a pretty good thing to know, that it can proc poison. Never mind, it's not useless information. You can proc your crippling off of it. But not with shuriken toss. I think they did it on purpose, because you could... Like, back in the day, shuriken toss... It's been changed many times, but you could slow people with it, so Blizzard thought it was too OP. Uh, otherwise, it's just a combo point generator and keeping people in combat. You're not actually gonna kill anyone with 146 40 energy spell. It's a meme. It's like desperation time. People are away, you have no shadow step, you have no vanish, no way to close the gap. Your energy cap might as well, right? Uh, what just proc? That's a, that's a passive that's going away uh, with shadow lands. It's this shit, don't worry about it. Shadow lands, I've went through it. Smoke bomb, I've went through it. Symbols of death. You press it, you do extra damage, you get energy. 30 second cooldown. Eh. Oh, your next compound generator is gonna crit. 
I don't really like it much, but it's whatever. Shall step, everyone knows shall step. But now it has two charges, which is cool. If you're sub. And it's 30 second cooldown. Your finishing moves reduce the remaining cooldown of Shadow Dance by 2 seconds per combo point. That's because I have enveloping shadows. Which apparently is bugged. Or it's rounded to 2 seconds. Maybe it's 1.5, I don't know. Maybe one of the two tips is wrong. Find weakness, I went through it. Mastery, I went through it. Relentless. It's the same as before, your finishing move regenerate energy. And this I haven't mentioned, that my auto attacks have a chance to generate a combo point and energy. And also, in Shadow Lands, it does damage. I don't know what, what it doesn't say here. Shadow Techniques actually does damage. Every time this procs and you get a combo point in energy, you also do Shadow damage. Maybe it's just specifically in Shadow Lands. I use I use classic numbers for the damage to make them look at least close to classic. They're not exactly classic, but eh. Where else? We have that's just the finisher, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that either. Faint is now area of effect, attack damage reduction, and if you spec it, it's also where is it? It's also direct damage reduction, so that's a change. Blind is exactly the same, just way longer range. And it costs no energy. Also, if you notice, it doesn't put you in combat. So there is that. Also, sap is way longer range. It's probably around from here. And it costs almost no energy. Eviscerate, you know, eviscerate it's two point or a two part move. Cheap shot is the same as before. Kick is the same as before, but longer cooldown and costs no energy. It's also not on global. So you don't have to hold your globals for kick anymore. Cloak of Shadows, we all know Cloak of Shadows, it's exactly the same, two minute cooldown. Crimson Vial, that is a shitty heal, but it's better than nothing. I think it's slightly nerfed in PvP, it might be 15 or 10% of my maximum health instead of 20, I have to check. Kidney Shot is exactly the same. Distract is exactly the same. Evasion is 100% now and it lasts 10 seconds. But it's lower cooldown. Poisons, exactly the same. Stealth is exactly the same kind of. You don't you go you don't get movement penalty and it's only two second cooldown, so you can re stealth a lot easier. Tricks of the trade don't don't worry about that. Sap exactly the same but longer range and costs almost no energy. Also it's not gonna get you out of stealth. Also you can sap bears and everything, not only humanoids. Uh, don't worry about Shiv, it's just an improved slow. 99% of the time it's unusable, no reason to. Vanish is exactly the same, however you can't vanish spells, so... When I said exactly the same, well not really. You still vanish out of sight, but anything in the air will still hit you and do damage to you. However, it gives you a couple of seconds of immunity, so you're not gonna break. So you can vanish and a warrior can whirlwind you and you you're still in Vanish. You will take the damage though. Shroud of Concealment, that's an AoE stealth. This guy is probably not in party, so he's not affected by it. It's just an AoE stealth. It's actually not bad. Passive move speed increase. Slice and dice is slice and dice. Sprint is sprint. One minute cooldown, 70 second sprint, 8 second duration. So lower cooldown, lower duration. And I can run on water. Cool, I guess. Numbing poison. Uh, they changed the way poisons work. So you can have one lethal and one non-lethal. So you can't have 
wound poison and instant poison at the same time and you can't have crippling poison and numbing poison at the same time making numbing poisons in pvp kind of useless unless you take some kind of other slow like possibly this but it's still not as good as crippling and there are some other passives in shadowlands that also decrease move speed but they're not as good as crippling shiv shiv is 25 second cooldown and it's still gonna last for five seconds so yes you can slow somebody every 25 seconds so i guess uh what else did i miss i can show you all the animations so you don't have to wonder what's going on that's shell strike Yes, it sounds like shit, it looks like shit. That's Eviscerate. Pretty much the same. Uh, what is it? Stealth, Shadow Dance, changes the color. Shadow would do kind of changes the color the same way for me and one more person. You know, Shadow Step. You know, Sprint. You know, Evasion. You know, Clock of Shadows. Blind is also the same. It's not actually that much different. Faint. This is faint. I know some people won't know that. Rupture is gonna be the same. Uh, this is symbols of death. That sound, which just, you know, increases my damage and gives me energy. And crit. What you see me doing sometimes this. You don't have to worry about that. It's gone in Shadowlands. It's just a spell from my necklace. Think of it as a trinket. This is a trinket. They actually removed the animation on trinkets. You used to get an animation above your head. Now you don't. I don't know what that's about. And this is Phantom Knives. So, if you have a lot of people using all of their spells it would be kind of confusing but that's basically what rogue does i could go through every other class but this video is gonna be so long uh all these buffs you see those are once again passives that a lot of them are going away that come from azerites like this that gives me a stat or a chance to give me a stat this when i get hit i gain armor what else you get this which is a shield it's just a bunch of passes that are also going away this gives me crit just so so many also the weapon procs two different weapon procs Basically, everything you actually have to care about, I've gone through. So if you see something that I haven't covered, it doesn't matter, don't worry about it. And that's, I guess, is the comprehensive tutorial from uh, Classic to Shadowlands, if you play a rogue. Which would be probably somewhat useless if you don't know what other classes do as well but better than nothing now let's do some pvp how to check the difference between pvp and pve for a specific skill you can't, you can't have learned them. You memorize them. You can't check the difference. Or you, you can't know the difference until you do both. There's gonna be a lot of other spells in actual Shadowlands that are kinda gonna be the same as uh, Think of them as extra talent or trinkets. 
So let's say for Rogue, from my Covenant, a Covenant is like an extra mini faction that you can choose that gives you its own spells. So my extra faction also has a couple of spells. One of it is a ranged bleed that lasts forever until the target dies. It sounds OP, it's actually not as good. And it also can get dispelled. What's good about it is that every time you use it, you get a combo point and it also only costs 10 energy. Also, it has three stacks with a 30 second cooldown. Also, you have a shield that you can use. It's a channeled shield that gives you kind of a decent absorb. It's not completely useless. And you have, apart from that, you have like an extra talent tree that you can pick. So you have extra three talent trees that you can only pick one that improve some of those abilities and in general your abilities so you have stuff that gives you damage move speed move speed health regen haste cooldown reduction it's just it depends a lot and you have four different covenants that each one has three different talent trees it's a lot Yeah, I chose Necrolord. It's just... It looks a lot more complicated than it is if you if you haven't played the game at all for years. Like, there is a big gap because spells just don't look the same. But in general, I don't think that much has changed. I can pretty much jump from Classic to Shadowlands and not feel out of place. It's just a lot more spells have, I guess, dominant animations. So when a lot of classes are using their spells, it looks like a clusterfuck. That's just because you don't know the new, the new spell animations. They're actually literally the same as the old spells. They just have new animations. Like Frostbolt is different, Fireball is different and all that. They just have extra pixels guess the thing for four months welcome back i hope that was at least somewhat useful we'll see uh there is no add-on to disable unimportant animations there is an option in game for essential spells only that i already have on actually <laughs>